Did okay. Phoenix want to come smoke? So no, he, he's in the car and kind of in his zen place. I'm going to start getting on the phone for him, I think. <coughs> I'm going to try to just get him and audition him to be seen so he can be on the Motley Crue <coughs> Def Leppard uh, tour. This guy ha has an unbelievable presence. No one looks like him, sounds like him. In terms, he's a, an incredible musician. He can play the hard So rock. you're a manager now. I'm going to try. I'm just going to get what the... I have nothing to lose. You know? That's, make, make him that's for sure. Make him remember That's you the only thing we know. <laughs> yeah. We got nothing to lose. Exactly. And I've got to do it also for my career where I just really go for it. Yeah. You know, I'm you starting to. There you yeah. go. I, I, I'm trying to set develop, up an ICM develop your, meeting. Develop yourself. When you leave a party, be a pool party in New York or L.A., have them remember who you are to some extent. And better and better each decade. You get buff, life. get tan. Right. Be funny, be perform. Isn't he charming? Be wow. an animal. Isn't he, yeah. I have to say, wow. you know, seeing the stuff, uh, the short film and some of the great stuff we've done builds my confidence and I'm able to talk to people. It, it affects my down, mind, though. my subconscious mind. Yeah, because you're right confidence. here. This, you're right here. Triple, watch this is triple A ball. Yeah. Watch this the isn't the Bush Leagues. Yeah. Watch the Golden We're not in the suburbs of Scottsdale yeah. filming in our garage. Watch the Golden Globes and look at the people in the audience drinking. Those are your people. And yeah. attach yourself to that mindset. Yeah. It's a bitch around every corner, homie. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I don't talk that way. There's always ladies. Bro. So Lee, my friend Lee, who's an animation, who built I Warner Brothers talk. over 10 years, didn't take a day off. We keep remembering. My friend Lee, he built t Warner <laughs> Brothers 10 years, writing, <laughs> producing, didn't take a day off, said he'll make a phone call or an email to ICM, talk to his friend in animation, to get me a meeting with a former TV agent to sit with me and meet with me and whatever. If I could just... You know what? I'm gonna shoot for the top, even though it's like in. The Always cap. take the meeting, as they say. Yeah, oh, yeah. there you go. There you go. And That's then, what uh, what's the dude's name? De Palma. He tried to meet a new person every day. One hand. It's not a fillet. Oh yeah. <coughs> One hand. Yep. Yeah. Gentle, gentle. My friend, uh, my friend Kathy, she was my girlfriend at the time. In 1980, where'd she go? Tommy meets the whole city. There I just introduced myself like Phil fucking Donahue. That's why I love that impression that Daryl Hammond did it a decade later. De Palma would just call people up, say, "Hey, I'm De Palma. I want to meet you." Let's those have aphorisms lunch. when put into action. Wait, say it again. Wait, I want to listen to both. Okay, what you're about to say, I don't want to interrupt. But what do you mm. say about? Oh, yeah. He would what? You heard. He would just call people up. Yeah. Say, "Hey, I'm De Palma. I want to meet you. Let's have lunch." Yeah. Every day, new people. That's how we met Ron Howard. Saw Ron Howard walking by in the studio. I said, Ron Howard, from Happy Days. Hey, come on. And now and they became partners for life. Palm and Howard. If you've had an opportunity and you miss it, you just try to put together in your head the social It's like, would I let George Lucas get away? Yeah. Would you piece together what you, you let George Lucas goes. get away? Or Dave Batista. When Dave Batista was yelling at me, I should have befriended him. You piece together a confidence and a, and a wherewithal in your brain and hardwire not to miss that opportunity. Or Dave Chappelle, when I saved him in the VIP at Congaroo, <laughs> and then I saw him again by the promenade. <laughs> but what are you going to do, huh? There's so, always an inverse remembrance. You, and, and What are you going to do? You're going to Rupert Pupkin there. yourself oh, onto yeah. him? Oh, yeah, Tom, yeah. I'm at Rockefeller Center in the summer, and I have some job for Reuters, I think. I don't know. But I'm Hemorrhoids? Well, Hemorrhoid cream? Is that well, what you I, said? I don't know what I was doing yeah, for right. Reuters anyway. Hemorrhoids. I, I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> but Lauren Michaels, <laughs> you know, the Captain producer Morgan. of Saturday Night Live? LM. He's standing where the oh, bike yeah. is, and I'm right here. Well, and I just, I'm silent. I didn't say a word. Humble Canadian. I didn't say a word. And I'm like, you're that was not my moment. I had my moment to just say to Lauren, hey, it's me, Chris King. Hard to imagine I'll... Chris King getting tongue-tied. <laughs> the man of a million characters. Yeah, well, I don't think he got tongue-tied, but quick enough, you, if someone stepped back and said to me, Tommy, real fast question, what, astronomy? I said, no, who do you see in SNL of the two of you? I, I, you see what an obvious answer, but actually, quite frankly, the things I see in him, that yeah. I could use and then a comedic size, but even down to wigs, haircuts, and what he can. Yeah. Some of our But you need Chris King, too. Yeah. You need oh, him playing yeah. the Hartmans. Oh, oh, oh what? The I dad. Like to, the boss. I'm actually now turning it around to now I'd like to write. The voice the is a Phil oh. Hartman voice. I'd like to write for the two of you. It's authoritative. Yeah. I'll I would write, like Griff and I to have our I'd own I'd like show. to write a little skit for you two. Please do. You know, do I almost kind of want the reality. As a matter of fact, the, thing the only thing I would want mission. would be just all input and just have fun with it on the cool picks. And a little, but something with dialogue. A little short there you thing. go, jam just that if you it. want. You know? Oh, you got a Frankenstein or should I oh, spark it out there? Oh, you got one. There it is. Oh, yeah. A burger Frankenstein. Oh, this is, a, this this is what we come out for, guys. This is poison. Yeah, here we go. Fire in the hole. 
is a way for a vlog. Yeah. There's a method to the madness. Mm -hmm. Reefer gladness. Just no, five, you know, just Griffin five, and I have a five good, days to produce. We have a great interchange. When he's asking me questions, like I'd watch these videos. I've watched them over and over again, some of them. I've Studied them, if you will. Yeah, Studied I them. watch them over. But like his interjecting of questions yeah. and being right there. Yeah. And it's a, it is a good flow. I mean, sometimes I do answer. Sometimes I go on my own thing, but... I've watched it quite a bit. You're, you're dramatically distracting, and that's a compliment. <laughs> you're just, you're just, so I'm glad I wasn't you're, smoking. You're, you're, you, you know, just that. to play, you know, Jordan Peterson. You make me laugh. Your gesticulations are entertaining and all-consuming. They take the, uh, I could say they take the air out of the room, but um, boom. Or I could turn around and say they're you so charming laugh, huh? that you are the centerpiece of the. Yeah, yeah. They the steal the show. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we can go to either end of that funny. pendulum. Oh, that, friend, that's good medicine right there. That's oh, yeah. a burger Frankenstein. My friend Maureen loves you. She's like that that intro you gave to me one day. <laughs> She's still talking about it. She it, can't stop talking about it. It is fantastic. Good, good budget. This, I love talking. I kept telling her, I love, this guy's from Queens. I love this. We're this guy's from Queens. Movies, man. We're talking theater. <laughs> yeah. Sandbox tomorrow? What do you say? About that time? Very well, I'm overdue for oh, the yeah. sandbox. It's nice out there. It's mellow. It's zen as it gets. Might as well go. It's zen as it gets, dude. Down in your it's like our own Buddhist shirt. monastery. It's a good place to see even do what you're doing now. Yeah. Not for nothing, you know. It's a good place to be your own bonsai. <coughs> All the little BS melts away when you're at the sandbox. And we're also very familiar with the other parts of Venice, like the back of our hands. Me for decades on and off, him for the more solid. He has more foot time than it. I did over the last 40 years. I was down in New York, so I, I was down in the mountains a lot, a lot too, bro. Oh, it's like Mayor Rabbit. All right, I like that guy. That guy born my oh, heart. Oh, yeah, good guy. You know, I'm One of our guy. heroes. I'm like this with everybody. But Happy Monday. Happy people. Thursday. Are we talking about? <laughs> we just sit down, go down by the beach. We should go visit him at the, where he's at. At the, <laughs> All we got to do is go to the bus station, cruise by there where he's staying. Say, Rabbit, you in there? Well, I don't know if it works at that way. Like that. No, that's what my buddy told me. He said, just go by there and look for him. Boston, I think Call him out, say, let's roast. Like the bread bake. Like the bread bake. Tip of the day, guys. I don't know. Oh, you know who's hiring is, uh, and I like that store actually. I love their shirts. Taco Bell t-shirts. That Native American store on the boardwalk. Oh, I like those oh, shirts. I loved it. Yeah, that would be a good spot for you. Get, you know? Stone like, like crazy. Get in tune with your inner native. What? Get in, t get in touch with your inner native. Yeah. yeah. Pull in, pull, in, pull in the hashtag and stare at that eagle, and then you, I'm telling you. And then what you do afterwards, you break to the left and go hang out with. The Dude, guys if you work the there, that'd be awesome. Damn. We'd be hanging out there. It'd be a good place to film too. That's a show. You working there? Yeah. <coughs> I'll, I'll ask them. You know, then I'm gonna. I would love Maven to just get Danos, cash, but they may not go from there. Maven and Danos. But I love those T-shirts. Oh yeah, I'm like, some of them are just that. One with the oh, tree. Oh, it's oh, like. Man. There you go, Earth Art. I've it. stopped oh, yeah, in front of there a few times. I Ron can uh, tutor I won't you. Leave, I won't leave until I look at the last two animals I want to see, which is a wolf and an eagle. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah. Ooh, and the thing, music is going. My friend Regina, start. who's from Queenstown. Can I go to the skate park? She's, in, the she's very close to a very famous chief. The guy was actually on the phone with me when I went back to L.A. I haven't past that. You the know? chief was on the phone with yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> the chief of what? He came in with that. Well, he says, says you know the problem. Was it a red cloud? Was it a crazy horse? It was, it was a major chief. chief. Wow. And I think he was saying something to me about, you know, when you're concentrating too much on the past and your foot. Oh, my focused. God. If you had a native chief telling you to stop chasing so many babes. <laughs> it's a be press. That's be pretty right good. Here. That's be the number one native rule, though. Pay attention. Live in the moment, pay attention, even follow the signs. Even whenever I watch cool TV shows when they show native, even if they're a cliche or racist by standards like Northern Exposure, I love native oh. men. When you show me oh, a yeah. native senior telling oh, wisdom yeah. and the aphorisms they're, they, they have, have. They're noble, oh. they have dignity, they're zen, <laughs> they oh, have yeah. gravitas. Oh, I put a, a native American. Follow the signs. Do you guys know about the Toltecs? Because <laughs> um, a woman they wrote something about wolves, the Toltecs bro. that you we are artists, not humans. Because the Toltecs no, believe yeah. that everything is an expression of the spirit. So really, we're artists, not humans. Well, it's, it's just everything. words. It's two it's just words, semantics. Okay. Yeah. What about the Palladians? You heard of them? The Palladians. <coughs> the Palladians. Uh, powerful aliens. Powerful ancient alien elders. Really? Yeah. Supposedly, Jimi Hendrix was a Palladian. Really? Yeah. 
Hold it in. I don't know about Take your hit and hold it in. Press me. Yeah, yeah, good you can feel right so magical. You're going to love the arts in two seconds. That patience to hold well, it in. Well, that's the thing about it, being human. Anything can, you can make anything at art. You can make driving an art, cooking, making love, painting, rolling the joint. Let me watch you. This is an art. Here's what you need to do. Watch. Light, aerated, and hold it in. It's in me. Watch. Blow it out. Do it again. Okay, I really feel the lungs of the medicine. Great. And I could have the wrong. I'm showing you. And you went and just pulled a cherry down here and went. You know, you're like Woody Allen dropping the. We could make a modern easy rider, but what do we call Woody it? Woody Fallon. We can't call it easy, easy rider. Heart of, heart of dog town. Part of dog town, yeah. Well, it depends if it's a road movie or if it's a local movie. Well, I'm not on a motorcycle, so it's not going to be a No, road but we drag you behind in a U-Haul cart. You're on a bicycle. It's Easy Rider. The 